Hey, 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 hey! What's going on, everybody? I am JP. Welcome to Code Boosters. In the last video, we saw what is linear regression. A linear regression is a model that we use when the predictions are in the form of continuous manners or continuous numbers. And the way we make the prediction is by drawing an approximate straight line that fits our data set. Now, let us continue our discussion by knowing what is linear regression cost function. Now we know that in linear regression, we make our predictions by drawing a straight line that fits approximately to the data set. Our main question is, how do we find a line that fits the data set? Here, let us take again the data set of house prices when on the X side, we have square foot area of the house and the on the Y side, we have the price of the house. It is a single variable data set. Now, let us do something very stupid. Let us draw a line randomly, like somewhere, anywhere here. Suppose if this were our prediction line, then the value for this square foot area would be here. But actually, the value of this square foot area should be around this. So this is our error. for this point. For this point, we have our error, which is this, if we assume that this is our predicting line. Similarly, the error for this point would be this, for this point would be this, right? These are the errors for all these points. So, basically, the line that will fit the data set properly, that line is going to have the least error this line have large large error but the, the line that will fit that our data set will have the least error now that is where the cost function comes into picture the cost function represent the error between the actual value and the predicting value now as the cost function represents the error between the actual value and the predicting value we can write the formula for the cost function as cost equals difference between actual value minus predicting value. And as we are just seeing the magnitude of it, I'm going to do square down here. This is the difference for only one data point. Now we have, let's say, m number of data points. m equal to number of data points. then we will need to make the summation i equal to 1 to m. As well as I'm going to multiply this with 1 by 2m. And why am I multiplying this with 1 by 2m? It's just for averaging purpose. So we have the formula for the cost function of linear regression as 1 by 2m multiplied by summation of all the errors or summation of square of all the errors of all the data points. Also, y hat here are predictions. And y is the actual value. Now, this is the formula for the cost function of linear regression. But you can also write the cost function of the linear regression with a slightly different formula, which can be cost equals to 1 by m multiplied by summation of all the data points absolute value of y minus of y hat we are not squaring here because uh, we are using absolute both of them are correct and you will get to know more about the cost function as we will study more into the linear regression and more into the machine learning by first learning gradient descent cost function can be different based on the different different models this is the cost function for the linear regression, but it won't be the same for the logistic regression, won't be the same for the neural network for a certain application, or the neural network for the other application. The main idea behind the cost function is to represent the error between the actual value and the predicting value. Great, now you know what is linear regression cost function. To have a recap, Cost function represents the error between the actual value and the predicting value. Or in other words, it determines how well our model is predicting for the given data set. 
lesser the cost value or lesser the cost function value, the more accurate will be the predictions. Higher the cost function value, the lesser accurate will be the predictions. Now the cost function of the different models are different and we just saw the formula for the cost function for the linear regression. Now the main question arises, how do we minimize this cost function? To understand that or to learn that, let us move on to our next video which is on gradient descent an algorithm to minimize the cost function value. And if you are interested in learning machine learning, then hit the red subscribe button as well as hit that bell icon cause I upload a new machine learning video every week. Stay tuned and I see you in the next one.